Drone pool here. I got my bug six, got my run cam, and we're going to install FPV in the bug six real quick. So, take off this canopy. Here is the VTX. This is the ES Sheen. What is this? 801. I believe. Let me look here. It's the TX801. Something like that. I got one in the Bugs 3 too. They're pretty good. Got the run cam. Got my wiring harness. And my 3 pin AV ground cable. Now it's really not as difficult as it looks probably especially after you do it a time or two okay so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to plug this in and this can only go in one way so you plug this in the VTX okay so that's in okay now you need to get this in this is the this goes to the camera Okay, the blue is ground, and the red is power, so you just line those up. Okay, and then the yellow is the video. And it's a little hard to get in sometimes. Okay, now on the back of the run cam, there is a 5 pin port right here. Okay, and that is 5 to 36 volts ground video audio and VBAT. And the VBAT is to get your battery voltage. I believe which I do not use but this is only a three prong pin but all you have to do is make sure the power and the ground and video are all on the left side and you can just plug this three pin in here and that's basically so you're not using those other two pins Okay, take this cap off. And now, all we have to do, well, I'm going to put the antenna on. Um, it's been suggested that you don't ever power on your VTX or your RX without having the antenna on. Because I guess it could burn them up. <coughs> now, I have power coming directly off the battery into the VTX because it's wide voltage so it doesn't really matter. 2S battery ain't going to hurt it. So we got power to the camera or to the VTX. We got 5 volts from the VTX coming out into the camera with video. Now in theory in theory, once I plug this battery in, it powers everything up. I should have video on my monitor. Unless I did something wrong. Alright, let's plug it in and see what happens. Look at there. I got a picture. And this has this camera has OSD. I'll have to go into the OSD and all that. And if I want to set stuff or take this stuff off the screen. So now my only thing left to do is figure out how I want to situate it in the bird. 
keep it secure, keep it from moving around. So, I guess I'll do that real quick. Turn this off. Unplug this. Okay. I'll probably just do it how I had the other camera in there. And really, I just had this really sitting in here. VTX, this is double sided tape. Let's kind of sit it there. See if this lines up the way it's supposed to. Looks like it. Now, all I gotta do is get these wires tucked in. And I usually have a piece of tape or something that helps me keep all these tucked in, but. If you can get the canopy on there, it'll keep them all in place. And I'll probably go back here off camera and do something about that. See, that just popped back out. Well, this will just give you the general idea. Put this right back on top. And I got the little run cam in there. It's nice and snug and secure it looks like. It ain't moving around. Move my antenna back here for better reception. Okay, let's plug this back in. Turn this on. And there we go. I'm ready to take her in the sky. And record some FPV. I think she's good to go. So that's how simple it is to actually hook up that PV in a bird. It's not hard. It's really not. And then like I said, after you do it a time or two, like everything's level so all right I guess uh, when I get some footage of this flying I'll post it but I guess that's it for now all right thanks for tuning in this is drone pool signing out